Hello everyone, this is Zabdes from the Minecraft Bells and here we are for another redstone tutorial. Today we will talk about more gates and edges and I will we'll introduce you to the thing that we are going to talk about on the next episode and right over there we have an example of how to use one of these these gates so for starters this is an XOR gate what this baby does is <coughs> excuse me when the both levers or buttons or pressure points are on the same states in this case they are both off the system is uh, also off if you flip one of them the system will turn on doesn't matter which one if they're both on the system will be off summarizing if they are both on the same state the, the system will not work if they're uh, toggled differently, the system will be activated. And now the XNOR gate, which is the opposite. If they're both, well, basically, all we have to do is uh, invert the signal. That's what we have here. But uh, I, it would be interesting. So, as you can see, if they're both uh, off, the system will work. If one of them is uh, on and the other one is off, the system uh, will not work. See? And if they're both on, the system will be on. See? So, to build this is very simple. Just place this. Uh, four volts like such and the redstone torches and the wiring see it's quite easy I'll show it from the side right here right here see pretty easy and the difference between these two is this inverter here See, don't forget these two wires. Okay, so off to another one. This is the RS neural edge that I prefer to call memory cell. It's basically, what it does is it, uh, if you, ex uh, for example, if you use a button, see, it memorizes the the, the input and it stays like that see permanently on you, you can click it again and nothing will happen unless you reset it see this is the reset button right here and and then no changes then you can right here and reset it this is the oldest version version I know and right here is a more recent one that it's a bit more compact but uh, works perfectly see bam and bam reset button right here and the the switch right here so this is uh, I particularly like this one because you can make self-resetting things. For example, let's take the, the reset button and, for example, let's place, let's say, one, two, four, like this. 
No, no, I screwed it up. Not like that at all. So, oh, okay. Okay, now I want to reset this right now. Okay, all we have to do is take the the output. That's right. Take the outcome of me. You can take the output and some repeaters like such and like such. Don't mind this on. The, that's on because of this repeater that powers all the faces. All the, all the sides of the this block find it. So if you add some delay, what you get, you get this. What? How come doesn't it? Oh, okay. I know why. I know why. Let's make this longer. Here you go. I think that's a lot of it. See? On. And it's on right now. When you click, off. And then the delay resets itself. You can add more and more delay. Let's, let's do it like this. Oops. Yes. Huge amount of delay. And now let's switch off and then this the circuit the carries the power in. It's on again. Oh, what's oh. But you have to wait for the signal to to power off right here to push the, the button the button again. If you don't, nothing will happen because this will be still resetting the cell so this can lead to the other big contraptions with locked doors and stuff like that right here we have another latch which is an RS NAND latch which is also a memory cell but works a bit differently for example If you press this this uh, pressure plate, that one will toggle and switch power, right? And if you place this, if you press this one, sorry, that one will will power. So far, nothing special, but if we put some item here and press this, nothing happens. Which means, which means, one will uh, uh, will turn will uh, stop the other one to from working. Like such, imagine this this like this lever, which does the same thing as the same thing is right there, and you want to activate this, and you can't. This can be this uh, match can be used in many different ways, and right here I have an example. This is a, com a small contraption behind uh, the, this wall, and uh, example uh, for example if you're on a, a, a adventure map, 
and you are presented with uh, with a uh, uh, they tell you present an offer and then you may enter uh, if you if you flick this lever without presenting an offer there will be a penalty uh, this redstone torch is here to signal if you are allowed to enter or not so I'm gonna offer something see it's on and I can safely go in right now let's test it if uh, uh, if the if you decided not to present anything you just flick the lever oh, oh that's not good <laughs> you're dead well not dead because I'm done peaceful but <laughs> uh, that really did some damage <laughs> Okay, so let's try let's see if this still works. Yes, it does. So basically, what I did was see this is the memory cell, and the offer uh, pressure plate it's connected right here, and when you you activate it. What you, what you, what it does is let's see, let me check it out. See, it, oh, it turns on this this uh, redstone torch to uh, signal that now it's locked. This. The, the memory cell has something as an input uh, which means that as soon as you flick this that that is directly linked to the door but it's also uh, sorry sorry uh, this is linked to the door and the RS9 match if you present your offering and you then flip the, the lever, nothing will happen to that output. Right? Right. If you don't present and you have the, the, the lever flicked, it will change that output. That output is connected to the TNT that was beneath the player so the only way that you have not to activate the TNT is to present the offer and block that output uh, if I don't know if you noticed but I reversed the signal so that uh, it only turns on the TNT if it changes the, the output so right here you have the our offer and if you open the door, that output will not change and will not ignite the TNT. If you do not have the offer made, you flick the lever and you change that output and activate the TNT. That's what we did. So, this is all the tutorial for today. And now, I'm going to present you what we will do next time uh, at first it's quite similar to uh, the one that we did last time but uh, I added something this one is still not but check this lever if I flick it nothing will work and for example if I flip the lever and the doors are open, they will stay open. So summarizing what this lever does, 
it memorizes the state of this input. That's why I put them over here so you can watch it. So like like, like this, it's working by itself. But if you think it it memorizes the previous state. See? This is what this is the previous state. You said it said memorize. And nothing changes. But if you do the opposite thing, memorize and nothing changes. No matter what you do. So this is what we are going to talk about this and more this is what we are going to talk about on our next tutorial okay guys thank you for watching and see you next time